Well, welcome back. We are doing some more Mono Clans. All right, hope you're doing well. I'm doing fine, doing good, enjoying my time playing Monster Train. So we are doing the Mono Clan mods. We're doing the mixes. I'm on the last five of these where I am pairing a champion with its cross exiled clan. So we are now on our way going backwards with Rector Flicker paired with Primitive Molds. So we're not going to start with damaging spells. It's a little bit rough, you know, especially for those temples, trying to get those extra shards for the fun of it. Uh, plenty of units to infuse though, and a very strong clan with good survivability, good damage. Let's see what we get though. Because I always enjoy this. Ooh. Yeah, and there we go. We already start with an immortal entrapment. Sorry, immortal. A mortal entrapment and two drafts plus purifying cleanses. We have some very solid starters. Um, Dayless, Tinker, Felwings of Damnation, Seraph the Chaste. Now, the other nice thing here, ah, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take Dark Calling. We could have done Burn Bright, right? Since half of our deck is reforms. It makes it easier to get Burn Bright back to actually survive. But we're going to take Dark Calling because I think Dark Calling is just ridiculously strong and I like it. Ooh. Mold Braces and Fade's First Blade. Do you like to see both of them? Um, you can make some amusing super strong tanks with a Mold Braces and this is just more raid damage. But I'm going to take the tankiness because tankiness is more fun to me in this. And, hmm. I mean... You gotta love a Capricious Reflection, but I don't really want to take it with these clans. I think this is not ideal. Melting Spout is fine-ish. I guess. It's not amazing, not bad, but Winged Indulgence is just kind of decent. Why not take it? Save some extra damage and health. Right, look at that poor nerfed guy right there. Only hitting for 16 damage. What a fool. All right, that is 16 coming in. So if I block, I can at least kill those two. This is 144. Four. Who's going to do this? No money. That's a little sad. Uh, we just let both of those burn out. We can take out some other dudes. I'm going to get a train steward back. Hmm. So many options. I think we dropped the 2913. We get 131 damage into you. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, if we drop the 19-8, we just get the kill. I mean, if we do this, we get the kill up top as well. Wait, wait, hold on. I can reform us. In addition, there we go. Yeah, Burn Bright would have been interesting, but Dark Calling is just so strong. It's a full S-tier champ for me. It's probably like my opinion once you know how to play it the strongest champion but we are taking tombs because uh why not take some tombs we have everything else we have days we can run that as our source of survival so let's just take more entombed explosives and fuse those tombs together we get burnout and moth die strike gotta love it we're gonna take the greedy greedy money because i'm a greedy greedy man Give you some multi strike, give you a burnout. Very cool. Excuse me, I mean, we're gonna put a minus two in the mortal entrapment, might as well make it free. Purge minus one, might as well get rid of that. All right, we start the infusions out strong entombed explosive into entombed explosive. And we're good to go. Sure, why not a unit draft? Man, they come out strong with those guys. Um, we drop you and 
Not what I meant to cast. We drop this. And this. Things at least survive. The foolish myself accidentally giving these multi-strike. We're just going to end turn because I want to get only these guys back if possible. Giving that thing burnout was a painful mistake. At least I can do this. Alright, we get some damage in. We get those guys there. We earned a little bit of money. Took a little bit of damage. It's fine. There we go. We get a kill. We get our reform. If we drop these two, we lose two of those. And we drop one and back, we get another kill. Right? So that's going to give us another 20 gold. Gotta love that. Especially since we did miss the keeper. Alright, take some more money. Oh, whopping 175. Um, no. We got on target reform. I'm going to narrow my pool down as much as possible with it. I already have two drafts. I have other survivability. I don't need the stealth. We will take a Wicklash though, because that's pump and burnout extension. Could have taken another explosive fun Z's. Eh. Um, I mean, you kind of just take a Paraffin Enforcer. We already have the multi-strike, so why not put that into a dude? Ah, here we go. Do I want Flicker Licker or Flicker Licker? I think I want Flicker's Licker. Ridiculous sometimes this game. Reroll because I don't want quick. I don't want that. I was hoping for large stone or endless. I got neither one. How dare you game? Skip because those aren't needed either. All right. Consumable cards. Oh, what's a good consumable? Awoken? No. Umbra. This could be damage shield. This could be more space. Ooh, I like a space prism. Oh, I get another one. Wildwood Zap, not very useful, but 10 gold isn't horrible, right? That's a decent outcome. And here we are going on to Daedalus. I uh, actually know what I should have done. It's fine, it's fine. We're going to play top. kind of drop those. Very cool. Now we'll drop this as well. Eh, it doesn't get the kill. We are just going to play a draft up top. I'm going to use you to kind of weaken things up for us. Ah man, now you're kind of too tough to kill things. That's unfortunate. Uh, you might as well take a hit. Nothing I can daze. Sad times. Finally a draft. We drop you, we can clear the floor. We drop this, we can clear that floor. Um, we are going to reform two things, so we're just going to not cast the primitive molt. Works for me. There's a nice space prism. We drop that. We put it in front, right, to give our dude armor. We're going to play you behind, and we're going to start giving you burnout. Now we can drop this for some more damage. Very cool. We drop you to help clear the floor. Now we're going to drop this and get a reform. So that's going to let me, you know, at least tank out the damage shield. Obviously dropping some of this stuff at very inopportune times, not my favorite. All right, give you burnout extension. Reform here. 
Is that what I want? Yeah, that's some more damage. This in the back gets us up to 190 damage. I'm pretty sure this is going to get the kill up top. Give you some burnout. Give you some burnout just to tank for us. Why not? Very cool. Formless Child, no thank you. Wickless Recruitment, maybe if I took that phase first blade, but no. Sacrificial Resurrection, don't need to thin my deck of units like that. We're going to skip here as well. Um, we're going to take more draw. Those aren't any banner units I really care for. Big Sludge would have been cool, but otherwise, meh. We're going to go to our removals. We're going to snap that Waxer Snuffer up. Who cares about a Golden Vault? Goodbye, train stewards. And you know what we're going to do, if you're not aware? We're going to put that Paraffin Enforcer into a draft instead of the other way around. Um, we could do Accumulator Tank, but I like... Let's just go full U. That's fun here. Whatever, bring it on, Spikes. I have so much health that it could just destroy me, but otherwise it could be really good. Alright, ooh, this is a good start. We're going to play you mid to keep you nice and protected. We're going to play things like this. Yeah, see that's up top. You're going to get the burnout. Look at that nice clear of the floor. And, and turn. All right. That's going to tank for us. And then we can drop you. Tanks all the hits. We drop this one to perish. Um, since this is going to die, we can give it that Wicklash as well. All right. We don't want those in our deck anymore. Um, we're going to get our reform. There's our good reform target. We drop you behind that. Ooh. Not getting the kills on these. That's a little disappointing. Um, we can swing you in to get a kill at least. Or not a kill, but some damage. I could start like applying burnout here. That would only, only beat a little bit more. No, we're just going to... I allow myself to take all this damage and be sad about it. We're still alive, that's all that matters, right? See, now this time at least we clear what's our reform. That, whatever. We can play you here so that way I get you back later. Right, we get those two reformed. This floor is just going to die because I can't do anything about that guy. That will reform here. Ooh, the spikes are a little annoying. We're just going to play this in the back. You burn out, so we'll just get ourselves some 400 damage. Right, we get a daze. Awesome. Um, let's play you. Why? Because I want to get more gold. Uh, we can reform a couple of things. Eight. If we put you in front. Does that also die? No. That's okay. We can give you the heal, some of this. We get five additional gold. Took one big round of damage. Eh, we can take this combustible wax. Why not? I do like a fatal melting. Yes, AOE damage. AOE damage. Give me that. And we're just going to go all in in days. Let's take another immortal entrapment. All right, let's go artifact. And mostly, I really want this purges. I want to get rid of those train stewards. We want more space for Space Prism. I love it. We can go ahead and 
dupe or intrinsic that space prism. And as I said, you are going into draft. Cool. And next temple draft is going. Ooh, sketches. Ha 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 ha. Now we're really purging things. Draft is going to go into our Wickless Tycoon. All right, let's dupe the Paraffin Draft. They're kind of weak. They need health. I should stop by. Oh, where's a good Merchant of Magic? Oh, there's a Merchant of Steel here. That's not horrible. That one's not bad either, though I probably want this Vortex instead. And then we get a Vortex on that one as well. So we got a couple merchants we can still visit. Um, we are just going to drop things up here. We can do a whopping zero damage. Very cool. We're going to give you all the burnout. It's fine. I'm going to draw at least one of those units. Now I can start reforming things as well, which is good. So we can drop this. That's going to take out the floor for 200 damage. And that's going to give you 10 armor. Um, what do we want to do? We want to drop this guy off. We want to reform that one down there. Look at that, we kill a whopping one thing. Very cool. All right, we drop you in front. We drop the paraffin dude here. We're going to start their burnout building up, and I think we're going to be pretty solid on clearing things. I could just... We'll wipe out the armor here, that's fine. Get some armor rolling through. There we go. Keep clearing out the enemies. We're going to just drop stuff on bottom. All right, those will all perish. We need you up top. Make sure we kill everything. Let's get our burnouts extended. Uh, we want the back eye to have the most attack. All right, let's put these in descending burnout order. Um, we put you here. And you here. That's fine. We're gonna eat through all, we're gonna, wow, get six turns of burnout. I mean, plus 10 armor from the uh, extinguish here is actually useful. Alrighty, we can reform, drop this. We can reform, maybe hit something better. Do that. We can daze three times. Um, we're going to just drop you in the back to get as much damage. Daze again. Six days. Yeah. We kind of have days on lockdown. We're fine. 17. So we drop you and you just die and I get plus 10 more gold. Or plus 5 more gold. We like that. Getting to a point where we can start purging everything, which is good. Crushing Demise, never bad. And uh, we actually want this Subsuming Blade. That's piercing damage, right? So we can actually make sure we get our mortal entrapments off to daze things. Alright, we are going to go here because I want to upgrade my units a little bit. I could get Encased Ember, that's pretty fun. I mean, I already have one ember solution why not second ember solution um 30 damage we're just going to put that into the aoe right we can get rid of primitive molds i guess 
We're gonna make money, Tycoon. We can make a triple striker here. We re-rolled. We can make a quick and plus 25 health in the other one. Plus five, plus 10 into you. And I have three of my units. We have one more temple. So we want to purge a bunch of other things though, right? So we can purge. Just gonna get rid of a bunch of drags. Because they are dragging the deck down. We can leave two for our infusion. Save us a little bit of gold. Scourgefell is doing Scourgefell things. That is fine. Because we are just going to do... The video game things. We're going to play you here. Who has the lowest burnout? You do. Awesome. And we just need to get rid of that Drake for one more draft, and we have an amazing floor going. Alright, you can just come up here. We can burn out that one, that's fine. We're going to Fatal, fatal Melting, just because I can clear those out. We're going to get oh, a lot of junk. That is my mistake. I will take the damage for my foolishness. And um, we can let that one burn out. So let's take five damage. I should have AOE'd the bottom. Right? I didn't have anything coming up. I didn't have that perished. It's not enough. Five. We're going to drop you and you. We're going to get that up past that six damage threshold. Which is uh, good for us. Finally lose our two. Alright. We're going to do some nice burnout pumps and some damage to the floor. Get our entombed explosive back. You'll love to see it. Get rid of this. Primitive Mold does nothing. That's not important. I think we're doing quite well. We can go ahead and drop this guy. Wow. We can drop this guy. Get some of that. Get some days into you for the funds of it. And who's our weakest burnout? You are, and then you are. Let's get those burnout numbers up, please. Almost got the flying kill. Not quite. If I drop this, I can get a whopping 78 damage in. Very cool. And we let one more thing die, right? That's going to give me another 5 gold. Take the money. Take the... I guess the intent on death. This always throws me that Devourer of Death is a Wickless and not a Tomb. You really think it would be a Tomb, right? But it's not. It's a Wickless. Um, intent on death could be funny, right? At worst, I can do it on Tombed Explosives. So we'll take it. Obviously, we take more draw. You always take more draw. Can never have too many cards in hand. Mmm, gold. Mmm, minus two. Let's do another. No, we'll make the fatal melting free. Gotta like that. And anything worth an intrinsic? I don't know if anything is. Let's burn you out. We can minus one crushing demise. Like I said, we want to make, well, I didn't say this, but we do want to make things free. We're going to make you a two cost and we're going to make the Wiglash free. You can just be a 50-50, that's A-OK. -okay. Our Vortex. We're going to keep a couple primitive molds in because we want those reforms for ourselves, even if our champion does 
perish. Um, we get rid of you. And I lied. We were going to get rid of the Supsumi Blade. We'll still get days. It's fine. And then from here... Let's go ahead and just get our Wicklash with Intrinsic to get its stats start going up and up and up. Alright, I have my four units that I need, so we're A-OK -okay there. Whoops. I want it. I meant to cast that there, doesn't matter. Where's our quick boy? There he is. Let's give you the attack. That does nothing, that does nothing. Darn. I was hoping to intent on death here. Get some 30 damage. Get our burnout rolling. We get hit with a lot of painful damage. Um, eh, that's a little less than fully ideal, but it's fine. We can keep putting you in front. I like it, I like it. We just bop you out. We do 200 damage. We need to increase the attack on our backline, our friend though, right? All right, we clear out that. Now we can move the tomb to the front at least. Start spreading out this burnout. And we're doing great. Um, just do that to the tomb. We can daze you a little bit. Don't have piercing. Oh, well. We get our burnout a rolling. We get all those nice high numbers. I don't actually want to do that to you because you're not going to give me any piercing damage. So we're just going to let it roll past us. Oh no! Gave myself a handicap. That's fine. But when I say I gave myself a handicap, I lost myself five gold here. Lost myself five gold. That's disappointing. Um, chased. No, we are going to lose our rage. It's fine. Memories of the melted. I don't think we need a big ember turn. We don't need the vote of area either. Same here. Whatever. No pierce damage. It's fine. We're just going to burst through. I actually do want the merchant here. Ooh, I do like an exploding candle. Get that little bit more damage into the bosses. Ah, uh, no. Let's get our spells, right? Let's get minus one. We want to make things free, so we're going to make that free. Hold over is meh. Remove Consume is useless. Minus one once again. We're going to make this a one cost. We might as well pump up our Pyre a little bit and get a Wing Steel. I think that's pretty decent. What do we want to dupe? We're going to dupe the zero cost Mortal Entrapment. And then for Purges... We're going to purge the three cost one. Yeah. That was a nice one for one trade. I don't think I have anything to put this into. I could put it into a purifying cleanse. No, I like the double heal. That's going to be useful to make sure we stay alive. I mean, the 10 armor and the minus one attack also helps a lot with that survivability. But more survivability equals more better. At least that's what I like to say. All right, where's my quick dude? We're going to give that to you, just because, once again, you're quick. And we're just going to start knocking out enemies on the bottom floor. Because I can. Well, you're burning out. That's a little unfortunate. Well, not burning out, but you are perishing. Does mean at least I can bring it back. 
below. Take out a nice enemy. I like that. Um, we're going to put you second because you're the weakest of these. We're just going to keep throwing days into you because it's funny. I'm going to take some... Oh, barely miss on that burnout damage. Or not taking the burnout is what I should say. Get some more days. We can... Uh, Heal you, I guess. Everything. Ah, oh, we still die. That's fine. Right, we got an extra hit in because I of our exploding candle, which was fun. All right, we're crushing here. We can whiplash. We can heal. We can burn. these guys down all right we drop the entombed explosive and then we can drop you and I think we're gonna be fine there if I do 50 and blast you then you will come up and perish which is good um, you need more burnout in our back we get 300 damage into the boss. We are going to get rage, or not rage, but a daze before it comes at us, so I'm not worried here. Especially with a double reform. I only need one of them, though. Right, we blast that, and now we are clearing with the quick damage. We're going to heal. Whoops! Ah... Uh, that does another heal. I just didn't read it. It's okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, now it's back stronger than ever. We clear out this floor. We love it. We blast something there. We love that. I mean, it's still coming in with Days. Oh, I forget. Since that counts double extinguish, I also get 10 armor from mold braces. That's pretty good. Alright. Nice easy kill. Anyways. We got some uh, stuff to do again. We get our space prism. We get a space prism. We drop a U. Ah, that's fine. Um, let's just start pumping up the back one. Everything else is A-OK -okay as is. We just need to get our tomb to the front and everything will be fine. So we just drop you here. We just clear the floor. Clear the floor. Yeah. Bop and days. Three more turns so it burns out. Two more turns so it burns out. What should I ever do? Um, pump the front. Get that burnout. Get some days. Get some burnout. Get a crushing demise. And here we go, now we have... Don't have it in the front. How dare you, game? Alright, now we do. We can put you in there. Cool. I don't want junk, so we're going to daze you. I think that makes sense in my head, right? D Who wants to draw junk? I don't want to draw junk. I mean, we get the kill anyways, right? So we dropped Mr. Bomb. We blast on through. We just kind of clear things out. 
We can give you the heals. We can give you the attack in the back. Spectre Flicker is doing great up top. Never even know he's in trouble. Clear those out. Give you days. It's almost like we have more than enough days coming through. Poor Rector Flicker has passed. There's my two guys. Rector Flicker go up top. You go here. You blast through those first enemies. Um, let's get our burnout extended. I don't know if we are going to get the flying kill. It's going to be kind of close-ish. I mean, it's not like we're not putting a lot of damage into the enemies. Or into the boss. This guy's just going to give themselves shield. Right? Doesn't matter. Let's give you the heal. So I don't lose all my rage stacks on my draft. We crush something. It's not what I would prefer to crush, but that's fine. Look at this entombed explosive. Save my dudes. All right, don't save them enough, apparently. Oh, well, whatever. And we just kind of clear and reform. We get some days. We get some burnout extension. We blast through those guys. Only 19 stacks of days to get through. Easy win. Not a flying kill, but still easy. All right. Run summary. There we go. Mono clan. Having reform access plus rector flicker is kind of strong. Um, I still, I'm going to stand by. I think Dark Calling, once you know how to play Dark Calling, is probably the strongest champion, in my opinion. Um, that's just me. One person that plays on YouTube. But, I mean, outside of that, obviously, right, double chance to find the strong artifacts so double the chance to get waxer snuffer well not, not double the chance but uh more of a chance there is definitely something weird though with the mono clan mod this is not the first time where you can get two of the same artifact to pick from that was the flickers liquor it happens uh but mortal entrapment strong survivability once it gets running especially at zero cost days three is good um and just compare that, right? The Wormkin spell is days three for zero, but you have to extract. Yeah, okay. And this one's three costs and they have to be damaged. This one, I think, has more hoops to jump through to get it to trigger. Uh, though it does do a chunk of damage, which is good. Or it can do. I didn't, it's not here, just 25. It's not very much. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we have Draft into Tycoon for some good monies. We had Entombed into Entombed with... So our big explosions, and we have paraffin enforcer into drafts for some angry, angry candle boys, and uh, these are some angry candles, and they win. I didn't take the first blade; could have, would have been stronger. Doesn't matter. I had my fun with mold braces and winged indulgence instead. But yeah, we uh, we went through. I got rid of everything except for my four main units. So go go sketches for uh, playing them all out turn one, and the fun space prism so i could put them all on the same floor as well anyways that is the end of this run so thank you for watching and have fun